Dan Walker revealed today that his emotional interview about Gary Speed's death prevented somebody else from taking their own life. The presenter was left devastated back in 2011 after the footballer was found dead by his wife at their home, just a day after he interviewed him. Ten years on from his death, Dan, 46, reflected on his final moments with Gary in a tribute with BBC Sport, in which he questioned whether he could have done more to save him and brought awareness to mental health. The clip was resurfaced on Twitter earlier this week, as fans remembered the late footballer on what would have been his 54th birthday. Taking to his page, Dan thanked fans for sharing the clip and remembering Gary in a caption which also read, I remember not really wanting to do it but Speedo's family asked and then, the next day, when it went out, I got an email from a man who said it had stopped him from going too far. Maybe it was for him. Read more. Chris Evans' wife Natasha in tears as part of her life has died forever following his latest tweet. Many of his 799,000 followers were quick to praise him. David Strachan typed, You are a good man at Mordane Walker. You speak so fondly about your great friend. If your interview helps just one person, then it was more than worth it. It will undoubtedly help a lot more than that. Kieran wrote, if this makes even one person stop and talk to someone then it was worth it. Great tribute to a friend. Lucy Meadowcroft added, I have watched it a few times, always an emotional watch. Thank you for doing it and showing your true feelings. If it helps one person you have saved a life. Don't miss. Jeanette Manrara sparks fiery debate as she returns to work six weeks after birth, reaction, Mike Yarwood dies aged 82 as tributes pour in for comedian and impersonator, tributes, Les Dennis saved by Ricky Gervais during career woes after Amanda Holden split, revealed, John commented, Dan thank you so much for doing this. During the interview, Dan wiped away tears as he recalled the moment he found out about Harry's death. Just hours before, the pair had been chatting on match of the day and off-camera had discussed meeting up for a game of golf. The next day, he received a call while in church with his wife about the tragic news. He told the camera, I just couldn't fathom what had happened when you think about the day that it had with him the day before. The presenter went on to question whether there were any signs he could have picked up on during the interview, which may have potentially saved him. The whole of the country were in shock, people were heartbroken, he continued as footage of colleagues and fans crying were shown. Dan went on to say he believes if Gary had spoken to somebody about the way he was feeling that night, he may still be here. After the clip was aired, he expressed his hopes at helping people who may be struggling to speak out and encouraged fans to leave positive messages. For confidential support call the Samaritans in the UK on 116 123 or visit a local Samaritans branch. Just me.